Hello, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be going through our bronze summer glow makeup look. As you all know, it is summer in Australia where I am, so I think this look is quite appropriate for all the occasions we have coming up. So let's get started. I'm starting with a very fresh face as you can see and going on to start with moisturizer and primer. Um, I'm going to go through my skin routine quite fast just because I have covered it already and I want to save a bit of time. Then going on to my all-time favourite foundation, MAC Face & Body. I like it because of its lightweight nature and its dewy finish. Especially in summer, you don't want anything looking too heavy and cakey on the skin. Once that's done, I'm just going on to Pro Longwear Concealer. Just to go over the problem areas, I still need an extra bit of coverage. Just making sure I really blend that in so it's quite natural and not too obvious. And then breaking out into a song mid makeover. That's just how I get ready in the morning. Now as you all know, I do set my foundation with two powders. A lighter shade through the center of my face to bring some light to the face before going the darker shade around to help slim it down and give it a bit of dimension. Done the skin, I'm actually going to move on to my eyebrows. So if I have skipped this step just to save some time, you can find this in my other videos. I'm going to first apply a base on my eyelids. We are using brown work paint pot. This will also hold it to the eyeshadow a lot longer. Now starting off with the transition colour through the crease. This is Saddle from MAC and just doing windscreen motions back and forth to blend that out. Next I'm moving on to all that glitters. Applying that with a 239 brush up to my crease and about 3 quarters of the way out. Leaving the outer section for this bronze colour here. And just blending that in and also applying it to the lower lash line. I have also added a darker brown colour here guys, though my camera battery died and didn't pick it up. Sorry about that. Still pretty new to this. So I'm just really going back and intensifying that dark brown colour just to add that dimension to my eye in the socket. And finally finishing that off by blending that all out with a really fluffy brush to make sure you diffuse all the edges and there's no harsh lines. Now onto lining the eyes, I'm actually using a brown colour. This is um, Dip Down Gel Liner from MAC and just lining my lash line and also my lower lash line about halfway in just to open up the eyes. The reason I didn't choose black is because I wanted more of a sultry effect and nothing too harsh. Now just adding a bit of a gold pigment, this colour is tan, pigment from MAC, to centre my eyes to really help open it up before going on and curling my lashes. Pumping that a few times before applying lots of my favourite mascara. This is Extended Play Mascara from MAC. I love its small ones because you can get right in there without getting too messy. And then of course you have to apply falsies. Well, I just love falsies. Going from top down as usual and pushing in the outside before pulling in the inside. This can get quite tricky, so perhaps use your tweezers to assist you as well. And now your lashes are on. Moving on to the skin, I'm going back to conceal um, underneath my eyes and other areas just to also highlight it. So down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin as usual. Before applying on Bright Forecast Pen from MAC, this is a highlighting pen so we'll add even more light to these areas. Now just blend that all in with the concealer brush, making sure it's a part of the skin and not just sitting on top. What you want is a highlight and not like a KQ residue. To seal that all off, I'm using Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in the shade Medium which is about two shades lighter than myself. This will further highlight the areas that you want. And also it has a satin finish so it's not too mattifying. It still lets your foundation seep through to allow that glow. Once that's all done, moving on to the magic of contouring. 
So here I'm using my Makeup Forever palette and using the darker shades to slim down all those areas that I want. That being my nose bridge, creating a 2 minute nose job and just DIY do it yourself. Who needs a nose job? So creating two parallel strips to slim down the nose bridge. My nostrils too and the cheekbones. So from the angle of the ear to the angle of the mouth, just to about where your eye hits, start shading in that area. Repeating to the other side and then moving on to your temples. And if you have a large forehead like myself, you can add it up there as well. Into your jawline. My face has gone a lot browner as I gained weight, so contouring is super important. Now I'm going to diffuse that and blend that all out with Harmony Blush and a 109 brush to create a more of a shadowing effect rather than some tribal streaks on my face. Just make sure you add your colour gradually rather than building on too much from the beginning. And then onto my blush. Here I'm using Margin from MAC. It has a very nice gold peachy um, finish to it, which is perfect for the summer glow. For an even dewier and sun kissed finish, I'm just adding a bit of highlighter on my cheekbones. This is Superb from MAC, which is a limited edition colour. I don't think you can get it anymore unless they re release it. Now going on to the final step, the lips. I'm just cleaning that up with a bit of concealer to create an even canvas and then lining my lips and filling that all in with Subculture Lip Pencil from MAC. I find it's one of the perfect nude shades. Now moving on to lipstick, I'm using Freckle Tone which is a peachy nude from MAC. It is a cream sheen to have a nice and glossy finish. And now the look is complete. It's perfect for any summer occasion you might have coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to break, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Okay, there's still more of me.